Okay, let's have a chat with the governor. Spain, England, and Holland. All three factions are at war with you. We can progress with the Dutch. And uh, I can always buy Amnesty from the French. But I don't have any foundation with the English or Spanish. Because they haven't offered Amnesty. Like, I've got nothing with them. They're just straight up hostile. Howdy. Spain and England made peace. Wasn't really aware that they were at that war. There was potential for profit there, but not really. It would make sense they would have started the scenario of war. I could have just chosen to beat up Spain for them both instead of targeting... Oh well. Doesn't matter. Baby, casual, relaxing, chill stroll for babies. If I only end up getting promotions with one faction, then so be it. I'll get over it. Hi. Oh, the price of food! That is delicious! Yes, I will capitalize. Thank you. Actually gets us over 200k. Rue is going to get a shit ton of gold. To sell one of our ships, because we can only keep one. And we'll sell the cannons. Okay. Let's divide the plunder. So we went from less than a thousand gold per person to ten thousand gold per person. Most of the crew feels quite happy, as opposed to quite unhappy. Yes. I imagine so. And I got 20,000 gold. 10% of the wealth. That's four officers' portions. I think I'm going to keep the difficulty on Journeyman, though. Ah, it's beautiful. Watching that pile into my cove. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're not going to raise up the adventure level. I'm uh, having too many problems with these controls. And that would go against the ethos of baby casual, baby run for relaxing babies. Especially as my character is getting older. That would give me more gold, that's for sure, but I'll get over it. 15% as opposed to 10%? Ah. Plan another expedition. Your ship is careened and refitted. Provisions are collected in the stone. News your expeditions. Expedition spreads among the islands. Small groups of hardy men return to join your band. Great. Should have 10% of our cash. Yep. Cool. As much as we got out of it. The last expedition. As much as we'll keep getting. Our personal wealth is almost 24,000 gold pieces. We were a famous journeyman and now we're an infamous journeyman again. Oh no. All right, great, good. Spain and Holland, all right, we're no longer at war with England. We've overwhelmed her with our charm. Tell me the news. France and England made peace. England's back to being at war with Spain. They have an ally though and offered amnesty. But we might have gone to Wary anyway? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that treasure is really not going anywhere, I say, as I now get like 128 people. Yeah, that treasure will be there. Let's go to the nearby location, because I have an informant here. Let's visit her and see if I can 
grab a treasure fleet or silver train. Because I'm definitely going to need the soldiers to do a land attack on whatever settlement that is. Uh, that could be a bad one, too. Certainly would be pressed to a take Cartagena or Havana. Puerto Bello. That wouldn't be so bad. Got 120-ish or so. I do want that up here, so we're, we could just still take all of our newfound friends over here and grab that. Yeah. Let's actually check my current relations as well. English are still hostile. I'm trying to think of what English ports I haven't attacked, and... <laughs> I've attacked all these. I haven't attacked that one, but... I've sailed around Port Royal, but I haven't directly attacked the port, right? Right? I might be able to... They haven't offered amnesty, but I might be able to... I don't think I'm going to be able to get it anyway. It's a nice dream. Let's... <gasps> Look at the price of food! Oh my goodness! <laughs> 135! <laughs> How much food do we have for this? 30 days. Okay. That, uh... Now, if I recruit more crew here, that's gonna be even worse. Hi. Sure. Held him prisoner for all this time. Veracruz! Rio de la Hacha. It's pretty far south. By the time I get down there, it'll move to Puerto Bello. Rio de la Haja is right there. Yeah, we'll move down the line. Whereas Veracruz is so... Is so bad. Like, I imagine they're about to, like... Eventually make the turn to go up here to Havana. And then eventually, you know... Get going. It is December, so it makes sense. I would like to bag a treasure fleet and silver train before the end of our time together in this series, but you know, things happen. I didn't even bother recruiting more crew there. I didn't even bother checking to see the prices of uh, food there. French colors, a frigate, that's gonna be a no. Let's try to sneak into Port Royal. They haven't allied with France, so I'm not thinking that I can, especially since I'm starting with a foundation of nothing. Like, if I had at least one rank there, I could probably squeak it out, but a war galleon? Let's do it. Dodge that cannon. Please, please don't hit me again. <laughs> On guard. Got my work cut out for me this time. It certainly wouldn't have been worse. Lord, would it have been worse. If I'd gotten hit by a cannon, Salvo. Now sink that, hold him for ransom, take that food, that's the, that's the stuff I needed. We're gonna, then we're gonna try and sneak into Harbor here. Maybe the governor. I'm like, I haven't really done a whole lot to offend this guy, so... Land ho! I've had her gold pieces. 7,000. Well, I got money out of it. But I didn't get... Absolution. Doesn't surprise me. Just saddens me. It was worth coming here, though. Still got Captain Moodyford, which I'm supposed to 
thing deliver all the way back to Guadalupe. That's right, train. Guadalupe! Listen, I know there's a tropical storm outside, but I can hear you just fine. Fucking train. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that. Or attempt to grab the ink and treasure. Then we're gonna... I don't know. Think of something, I guess. Beat up some more Spaniards, probably. Sail ho! Sail ho! The wars did not quite break out in my favor. You know, I can't always turn on the French and then get, uh, forgiveness for my sins. Courtesy of my rank. I prefer not to, you know? The Dutch are only at war with the French, though, so it complicates things. There's that settlement. It's not buried as far inland as uh, what it is for the Sega Genesis. Let's go ahead and lower the sails. I don't want to get spirited away in my bark to adventure in hell. <laughs> Gotta go get a second ink and treasure. It's gonna be great. Yeah, can't be on that landmass. Not big enough. I like how I keep trying to put it on it, though. <laughs> Somewhere near Eleuthera. If this just said St. Augustine, well, I still would have needed a second map piece. At least it didn't give me the bottom left corner for this fucker. Which could have been just as useless. I'd have been like, okay, well, what does that tell me? Fuck and all. Okay. It doesn't even depict the small, like, islands. Which is unfortunate. I think... that it's on this screen. Thanks, Cloud. Like, just trying to help, buddy. Uh, sure. Alright, good. Good, good talk. Glad we had it. Thanks. All right, so it's gonna be trying to measure out the the distance. Like somewhere in this area. The Lost Olmec Treasure. Approaches beyond your wildest dreams are laid before you. A hundred thousand gold pieces are collected and carried aboard your ship. This is a different image. It's Olmec. Hooray! We put together the Shrine of the Silver Monkey and it made me rich. Delightful. Well, I may not get a title nobility, but damn it, I'm gonna have some money. I need you to get on the boat now, Princess. No, please, by all means. Don't can... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this game make me want to lose my damn temper? Oh, shit. Was it March? Oh, yeah. It's quite some time I spent just getting up here. Our expedition started, what, in December? Hey, maybe the treasure fleet's still in Havana. Or made it there, whatever. Let's head back down. I have not as of yet decided how I want to handle things. I think it's going to involve beating up the Spanish, though. That makes me feel happy. But where will I beat up the Spanish? 
Obviously, these are Dutch, English, and French ports here. I do like this area with a nice re resupplying area for the French. But it's just one Spanish port there. I can still, like, move around it and... I think they don't actually have that many soldiers there anymore. It's only 220. That's a wealthy port. I can be 220 soldiers. Yeah. Yeah, I can be 220 soldiers. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's what we'll do. We'll, uh, we'll thump Santiago. That'll, uh, that'll do, do favors for my reputation. It'll be pretty nice. I don't know if we'll ever make it back to Guadalupe. I don't know whether we'll ever grab ourselves a treasure fleet or silver train, especially since I have to do land attacks with these places. Because I'm fucking too skittish now on the idea of naval attacks. Here I go into this hell. Land ho! Let's do it. Tortuga. Alright. Food's not a terrible price here. We'll buy a little bit of it. Make conversation. Spain and Holland. Make conversation. We've overwhelmed her by our charm and beauty. Charm and wit and grace as well. We're awesome. I don't feel like buying maps to do more map hunting. Not a lot of dudes. Hoping more people would join me. 128, I'm going to be severely disadvantaged. Oh boy. Oh boy. No. I just want to go to the... You know what, fuck it. This is, this is too scary of a city to go to. <laughs> no. Go visit our uh, informant place down here. Then uh, next time, we'll go see about beating up Santiago. Unless I really can't pull any more soldiers out of here either. Go to drink first. Okay, I can't. Uh, I can't recruit anyone else. We've uh, we've got the numbers we've got. Yeah, Hermosa. That's where the silver train is. We know where that is. At least I do. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and call this a short video here. I'll have to consider attacking Santiago. No more crew. I did get a huge number to start the show. I thought I could entice them with all this loot. Alas. I'll talk to you all later.